Christine McConnell help. Welcome back to my channel. So about a month ago, I made a video called Christine McConnell Lied to Me. And I was trying to recreate one of the crafts that she makes in her show, The Curious Creations of Christine McConnell. And it was the DIY candle. I failed horribly. I thought that the video was funny, so I put it out there. But there were a few people who were upset with me because technically I did some things wrong and I am to blame for the reason why maybe it came out as bad as it did. I thought I would go ahead and give it a second chance and see if I can actually pull this off if I use the proper materials that she requested. I used soy wax, which I didn't know the difference between different types of waxes. I have never made a candle before, so I thought it was all the same. So I went to Michael's and I got paraffin wax. And unfortunately, I couldn't just buy like a block. I had to buy a whole entire <laughs> giant package of it so I don't know how many candles if this works out I guess I can make a bunch of candles on top of the fact that I used the wrong wax I also probably was not patient enough when I was pouring in the wax into the mold so we're gonna try to be more patient today with that and I just wonder how much it's gonna work out considering obviously she is really good at what she does for a reason I don't think everything she does in the show is just something everybody can just naturally pick up I still have the idea that I want to recreate like a poison apple effect in the candle so I want the inside of the candle to be red and then I want the outside to have like a white dripping and then I want to carve it to look like the poison apple in order to get this white wax to turn red I had to buy red liquid dye so I could be able to color the wax and then on top of that there will be no scent to the candle unless I add scents so I did buy this baked apple scent since I'm planning on doing poison apple so I hope this works because between buying the paraffin wax, the liquid dye, and the scent, it wasn't, this isn't free or anything. So we're gonna try to make this work. I have high hopes for this. I think it's gonna work out. The first thing we have to do is create the mold, which in the last video, I learned how to do that because I did it several times. So that's gonna be the easy part. So to make the mold, you need a paper towel roll and some aluminum foil. And I got the heavy duty one, so. So I went ahead and made the mold. I have the base. I made the base extra layered. Now I can take this part out and we've got our candle mold. And I did decide to make it a little smaller than last time. I didn't want to make the mold as tall as this because then if it is a fail, I'm gonna end up wasting a lot more wax. So we're gonna start with the smaller version and then if it works out, I can end up making taller, longer versions. But for now, we got our little mold. So now we have to melt the wax. The hard part for me is that I don't know exactly how much wax I need for this amount. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna wing it. It says to melt the wax using a double boiler. Hmm. It also says to use a thermometer to monitor the temperature. Once the wax cools and reaches about 175 degrees, you can add the scent and stir, and then pour the wax into the mold and let it cool for several hours. So I'm thinking one block from in here should be enough. Let's see. I do have a thermometer here that I can measure and make sure I don't go over. I'm gonna try my best to go slow and make sure that the temperature does not go above 180 degrees. I'll be keeping up with it. And hopefully, <laughs> I'm already like thinking always that I'm gonna mess up anywhere. Like it feels like every single second I'm gonna mess up in one little spot. She did not mention anything on the show about double boiler or the temperature or s anything like that. So this is all just so according to the directions of the liquid dye, it says for 226 grams of wax to start with five drops of color. One block of these is 148 grams. So, so 226 divided by five would be about 45 grams for one drop. So 45 times three would be about 135, which is the closest I'm gonna get to 148. So it's almost like three and a half drops. <laughs> I'm trying my best here guys, okay? I'm trying to do science, I'm trying to do math. Let's see. So the wax is almost fully melted. I'm checking the temperature to make sure it's not going over 180 or that it reaches 180 because once it does, I can go ahead and stir in the color. Okay, it's officially at one, oh no, it's getting, it's at 182, I gotta turn this off. All right, so we're gonna do one, two, three drops. And hopefully that makes it red enough. I don't know, I want it to be really red. Maybe I should do one more. Am I gonna mess it up already? Let's just do one extra drop because I do want the red to be very red. Okay, last one. It's said to stir it well and then once it reaches 175, I can go ahead and add the scent. It's at about 175, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add the apple pie scent. In the instructions here, it does say 10 to 12 drops, and it doesn't tell you exactly how many drops for the amount of weight and all that. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm gonna stir it and then let it cool like Christine said for about 10 minutes or so This is my inspiration for the candle. So let's see if we can recreate this look I'm gonna go ahead and insert my wick and unlike what she said in the video. I am not poking a hole in the bottom I Just feel like we're gonna play it safe and just stick it in and even if the wicks a little not even I rather not make a hole <laughs> ah I think it's too thick. I might have to reheat it. So maybe for the amount of wax I'm using, 10 minutes is a little too thick, because now it's all clumps. So I have to reheat it. I think this time I'll just let it cool down for like maybe less than five minutes. Now I'm getting frustrated because I'm just thinking, what if reheating the wax after it cooled down somehow messes it all up? I don't know. I just hope it works. I just spilled red dye on my little Mickey thing and I'm sad. We're gonna go ahead and pour the first little bit in. And I'm gonna wait. Okay, I don't know how slowly I'm supposed to pour this in. I'm just pouring it slowly to my definition. Should I wait a minute in between every single pour? If I wait for the bottom of this to get solid, then the, the wax that's ready to pour is gonna also get solid. And then I'm gonna have to read the wax again. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not gonna panic. I'm just gonna go very slowly and do what she said. The good news so far is that I've poured maybe five or six times already so far and no leaking is happening. So, is it the paraffin wax? Is it the pouring slowly? Who knows? <laughs> But so far, so good. Every time the, the wax starts to dry up and it becomes solid, it becomes like impossible to pour it in. So I don't understand. Do I have to keep reheating until... This is such... <laughs> do I have to do this every time wrong? I don't understand. It's pouring out as clumps. Is that okay? Is it supposed to pour into clumps? Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. It's poured up to like about here. I don't know what I should do. The rest of my wax has become solid. Do I reheat this again and keep going? I want to try to get it to the top. She says to wait two hours for this to set. I'm just not sure what to do. I don't know if I should just let this one stay as it is. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and make a second mold and do a second round and make two blocks of wax. Let's go crazy. Let's do a second one. While this one sets, and I wait to find out if it all worked out, we're gonna go ahead and do another one. Is this all gonna go to waste? Do I, can I reuse this? Like, should I try to like heat it up one last time? And if this is the one that I'm, I don't know what to do. I need answers. Christine McConnell, help. Okay, I decided to reheat it one last time just because I didn't want all the wax to go to waste. I just wonder how it's gonna work once I peel out the aluminum foil and this really sets. And now I'm gonna wait for this to cool down a little bit and try my best to put as much more of the wax to fill it up as much as possible because right now it's only up to here and that's a very small candle, so we'll see. Okay, I don't know how well you can see, but I was able to fill it up a lot more now. I think we're doing good. <laughs> I'm gonna let this one cool and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a second mold and see. This one also looks pink, it doesn't look red. So I'm gonna try to make the second one more red. All right, mold number two is ready. Let's melt some wax again. Okay, round two. Double the wax, double the red, and double the scent. <laughs> so let's see. This time, I feel a little more confident. I'm gonna start pouring slowly. Okay, so I will update you guys once I'm done with all this and once it sets for two hours and we will see how this all goes. So you don't have to keep watching the boring part. Update. It leaked again. No! Why did this happen? How come it didn't happen the first time? I think I got a little too confident and maybe I wasn't patient enough and I think this is what happened. But second one was a fail. 
So I decided to pour the rest of the wax into an actual little candle thing. And I'm just going to make a normal candle out of it, just so I don't waste it. But, ugh. How do you keep the wick centered? It's the hardest thing in the world. I hate candles. Okay, update. Candle one kind of worked out. It's a little lopsided. It's not smoothly, like, circular. Doesn't stand up exactly right. But I do think if you put it inside of something, it could be doable. I did cut the top around to make it look even, and I cut the wick. The wick is kind of not in the center. There's a weird vortex hole going down the middle of the candle. So a lot of the things here are not perfect, but hey, you know? Now the second candle that I thought was going to be the better one, honestly, was just a disaster. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think I didn't go slow enough and didn't wait for it to cool down enough. I think I just got a little impatient. I'm not sure. But this one did not work out. So then instead of letting all the wax go to waste, I ended up putting it inside of this and I made myself a candle. I have a lot of paraffin wax and I don't want it to go to waste. So I can either buy a bunch of these little dollar store cuppies and just make candles or Maybe I can make more candles like these, but m maybe, and this is a crazy thought, <laughs> but what if they just sold molds? Like, maybe that'd be better than using a DIY version. I don't mind spending more money on a professional mold if it means I'm not going to go through the hassle of the process of it leaking, but I'm not done with this candle. Now I have to pour the white wax over it and it has to look like it's dripping. And then from there, I can use my tools and then it can actually start to carve out the face. So this candle's not done. And by the way, it's also pink and I want it to be red. But you know what? Okay, I got my third batch of paraffin wax, but this time it is clear or white. And I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit so I can go ahead and pour it over the candle so it can have that effect. I am scared that after I've gone this far that I'm gonna mess it up, but we'll see. The way she kind of made it seem was like you just kind of... <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I guess it's kind of working. How do I get it to like pour nice? Like how do I get it to have that nice, whoops, that nice effect of like, ah. I poured hard hot wax on myself. There's like a hole in the center of the candle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up this section here. I got a better idea. If I just pour it and then let it kind of like pour over. Whoops. I feel like if I just let it, that's not working. Okay, so this is what the situation looks like. I mean, it's not that bad. I don't think so. <laughs> I swear I'm trying. That's the saddest part about this is that I really am trying. But you know what? <laughs> Hopefully once I carve it to look like this, it'll actually kind of work. So <laughs> we'll see. This entire craft is a lot of patience. Now we have to wait for this to dry and then it can carve the face. I'm so over this. I am like not a fan of this whole process of waiting and doing everything one step at a time and then waiting and then going again. I don't know if I'm just an impatient person, but this has been such a process. Let's see how this carving goes. A few moments later. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Expectations, reality. Can't say I didn't try. I'm sorry, Christine McConnell. You are a queen. You are amazing at what you do. And you were not wrong. Paraffin wax is probably the reason why I messed up. And being patient and slow at it is also part of it. But you have to be a very crafty person to be able to do things the way she does and make it seem easy and not get frustrated. Props to her for for what she does. She's amazing at what she does and harder than it looks. And if anybody has ever tried to do this, I would love for you to comment down below and let me know. Or have you ever thought about trying to do it? Because if you have, good luck. I'm done with this craft. I'm never trying this again. But hey, at least I did it once, so toodaloo.